Hello, and welcome to Notes of Nostalgia, a podcast focused on music artists for previous decades. My name is Elijah Santiago, and today I'll be discussing jazz trumpeter and singer Louis Armstrong's career. Armstrong was born on August 1st, 1901, and spent his childhood years in New Orleans, Louisiana. Armstrong was raised by his mother in a high-risk and dangerous neighborhood. The area was nicknamed the Battlefield as a result of the violence that took place there. At age of 11, he developed an interest and started practicing in the streets with a toy horn. In 1923, Armstrong recorded his first record in Chicago, Illinois. OK Records decided to name one of their series after Armstrong. It was called The Hot Five and The Hot Seven. His first record label was called Chimes Blue. Over three years, from 1925 to 1928, Armstrong made 60 records including The Hot Five and The Hot Seven. On September 1st, 1967, Armstrong released his most famous record, What a Wonderful World. This song taught listeners to appreciate the world around them and what it has to offer. Armstrong was among the many people to change music for what it was before. Armstrong was able to alter other people's perceptions of jazz with his outstanding jazz performance, his vocal style, and personality with his music. And some people even learned what jazz really was as a result of Armstrong. With such great achievements, Armstrong went on to win two Grammy Awards and one Independent Music Award. He passed away from a heart attack on July 6, 1971 at his home in Corona, Queens, in New York. Armstrong's wife, Lucielle, found his body and immediately called two doctors to try to save Armstrong. They both pronounced him dead on the scene. On July 9th, Leonard Garman, special consultant to the president, represented the president at funeral services in New York City. He said, Mrs. Nixon and I share the sorrow of millions of Americans at the death of Armstrong, one of the great architects of an American art form, a free and individual spirit, and an artist of worldwide fame. His great talents and magnificent spirit added richness and pleasure to all of our lives. July 6, 2021 marked the 50th anniversary of Armstrong's passing. Because of this, the Louis Armstrong House Museum created a virtual exhibit displaying his death certificate, newspaper clippings, videos, and other artifacts relating to his death. That's it for this podcast. I'm Elijah Santiago signing off. Until next time, may all your notes be nostalgic. Have a good day.